Hello YouTube! My name is Tyler and this is a reading vlog. It is the third week of June and I have finished two books today. So it is June 19th and let's talk about the two books I finished. So I finished listening to The White Mosque by Sophia Samatara. Um, this is a book about a, a mixed Somali Swiss Mennonite woman, uh, a journey she takes through Central Asia, Uzbekistan, and kind of like the history of the Mennonite colony that was there, um, as well as just like Mennonite history in general, as well as like her experience as a mixed race Mennonite woman. Holy cow, I'm hot. Hold on, let me take my sweater off. So this is like a memoir, but also kind of a history. Um, I ended up giving it two stars. Uh, my review says, I recognize the value of this book, however, just not the book for me for a couple of reasons. First, I didn't love the way she chose to tell this story, jumping back and forth between Mennonite and Central Asian histories, the trip she took, and her own history slash life. That combined with me not particularly enjoying her lyrical prose made this a difficult listen for me. I definitely think she was touching on and talking about important things, but overall felt like I was tuning into a larger conversation happening within the Mennonite community that I didn't have the knowledge to comprehend or enjoy. Uh, yeah, I just felt lost through a lot of this um, and just like slightly annoyed because I just like did not vibe with her writing in general. Um, so, yeah, I think the most interesting part of it, there was a section at one point where she talked about like the history of, um, what's the word, of, like missionary work in um, the Mennonite church, uh, which I didn't know that was a thing. I assumed they didn't proselytize, um, but Mennonites do apparently. And so she talked about like her experience as a mixed race uh, Mennonite woman like going to these like uh, conferences preparing people to go on missionary work and how they assumed that you would be white and so um, and that you would be preaching to people of color um, and so there was just this that interesting bit um, about like race the whiteness or the perceived whiteness of the Mennonite church and then like mixing that in with missionary proselytizing work that I found interesting. But overall, like, I just, this was a slog, man. I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> um, so there's that. The other book I just finished reading was The Last Housewife by Ashley Winstead. And boy, was this a stinker. <laughs> um, I read a review for that one too, but there's like a lot to say and I'll try and keep myself um, coherent and relatively short. Um, because I was ranting about this to a friend while I was reading it. So hopefully I got most of my ranty energy out through that instead of in an incoherent way to the camera. But boy, I did not like this book. <laughs> um, I started it and I was like, I don't think I like Ashley Winstead's writing. I was intrigued by the plot of like her college best friend. One of them, or she had two friends in college. One killed themselves their senior year of college and then the other best friend killed herself 10 years later and she was convinced that they were those deaths were connected and maybe murder was involved um and there's like a podcast plot line going on um and i i, I guess warning there will probably be s slight spoilers in here um nothing like too specific i don't think but it started, I was like, I don't think I really like her writing, but I'm intrigued by this plot. So I'll keep reading. And I'm just gonna say and Ashley Winstead's books aren't for me. Um, like, as I was reading, I was just like, I don't think me and her like click writing wise, but I'm intrigued by the plot. Um, because I tried in my dreams, I hold a knife and I, I didn't have to like a chapter in like I could not deal with the writing. So I was pretty sure that like, we just weren't gonna mesh in the future writing wise um but as the book continued it just got goofier and goofier i like just could not take it seriously here's the thing i like reading dark stuff uh, whether that's like horror dark or like people are fucked up dark <laughs> 
I have been known to enjoy that. However, this darkness like just felt dark to be like, what is the word I'm looking for? Like salacious, like to keep you reading, I get like it didn't feel grounded or real. And like the book felt so goofy, uh, like the book revolving around like this giant conspiracy, the AC is coming. So like it involves this like sex cult group. And I understand that there are uh, conspiracy, real life conspiracies, come on, where powerful men like do awful things to women. Um, you know, I, I understand that. But there was just, this book just got to a point where it just was so over the top that it was unbelievable and just like goofy straight up goofy i don't know how else to describe it it was goofy <laughs> um you know like it seemed like every single man in this town was involved in this group and it was run by the philosopher and they were talking about starting a culture war and like it was just goofy and i could not take it seriously i started calling it the daddy dom mlm because where did all these men come from? And like, the girls were like trying to get up to the place where the philosopher lived. They were like trying to climb the ladder, climb the levels. And I'm just like, and seemingly they climb those levels partially by bringing new people into the, the cult, women into the cult. So like, big MLM vibes. I could not take it seriously. Uh, the, there was a reveal near the end at like, three quarters of the way. I'm not going to spoil it. It's like a very big spoiler. But I almost threw my phone, my reading device across the room. It pissed me off so much. It's one of my least favorite tropes. Um, sometimes it can be done well, but I hate it. Um, especially when it like is kind of the reason the whole book kicked off. I just, I hated it. I hated that. Um, and then the end just had me like, what? 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 The main character, Shay, is terrible. Um, she's just awful. <laughs> like, I don't think she's a good person. And like, just like having to read her inner monologue, like, was terrible. I didn't understand what Jamie saw in her. Their little like romance subplot I hated. Um, yeah, I didn't enjoy it. I gave it two stars because it wasn't like quite miserable experience. Like it was fine to read him fits and starts so like whatever but I honestly it just made it very clear to me like why I don't read thrillers anymore I am having a much better time reading sci-fi putting my toes into the fantasy world uh reading my horror reading my like more people inner monologue inner world type books um and I felt like that was part of, even though this is like first person, it's from Shay's perspective, um, I felt myself missing the like deep emotional um, exploration that I get in some of the other books I have read. And I'm realizing that like, yeah, I still like a good plot, love a good plot, but it's not quite as um the only thing keeping me going in a book anymore these days um I actually want some of that like emotional depth in my characters um so I'm growing I guess I don't know uh but it definitely like highlighted to me I'm like oh I'm really not a thriller girly anymore um and I probably won't be picking one up for a long while because this kind of <laughs> ruined my week um so yeah I've talked longer than I wanted to um I will see you either tomorrow or the day after um because I will finish Ace I swear um but I kind of put it on the back burner so I could finish The Last Housewife so I could stop having to read it <laughs> anyways goodbye howdy it is June 20th and I just finished reading Ace what Asexuality Reveals About Desire, Society, and the Meaning of Sex by Angela Chen. Um, I'm going to give this four stars. I really enjoyed this quite a bit. Um, I will say the beginning started off um, a little 
not simplistic, uh, but I, I don't know how to describe it. Um, simplistic sounds bad, and that's not what it was. It it laid a very thorough groundwork um, and got um, more complex uh, and tackled more um, multifaceted topics um, as the book uh, goes on. Uh, so I appreciate and understand the reasoning for starting out in a more um, basic level in the beginning and kind of working up to the more difficult, more complex topics. Um, but in the beginning, I was kind of like, well, duh, yeah, I get it. <laughs> um, but it does get more complicated and more complex as it goes. Um, I definitely feel like I learned a lot about myself. Um, and understanding how my asexuality has actually maybe had more effect on me as a person and my understanding of the world than I realized um, made me think about it in a different way. Um, yeah, it, it, it was an interesting and good read. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I'll see y'all later. Bye. Hello. I'm yet again here to close out the vlog because I forgot until I started editing the vlog. Um, it was just an okay reading week. Actually, it was kind of negative because two of the books were two stars, two of the three. Um, I am reading five books right now, which is truly outrageous, especially because I don't seem to be enjoying any of them particularly. Uh, so the five books I am currently working on that will hopefully be in the next video, um, Abolition Geography by Ruth Wilson Gilmore. Um, it's not that this is bad, it's just very dense, it's very academic. Uh, I started reading Season of Migration to the North by Tayeb Saleh. Um, this is about a Sudanese man who moves back to his rural hometown and there's like a new man in town that like was not there when he left um, and the new man is giving the narrator kind of like his life story. Um, it's all right. <laughs> Again, I think part of the issue is I'm just reading too many things at once. Uh, just wanting something to like really grab my attention. Um, and now I am uh, spread too thin. Uh, I am listening to Nupaming, The Cure for White Ladies by Leanne Betta Samo Samosake Simpson. Um, I apologize, Leanne. It's like a very alternative, um, there is a word for what I'm looking for, the type of fiction this is. Um, abstract, maybe. Um, it's told from the perspective of a bunch of different people. It's really short. Um, I've been listening to it on audiobook. I don't think I understand, but uh, it's been a fine listening experience. <laughs> Um, and I'm also reading The Saturday Night Ghost Club by Craig Davidson. I was expecting this to be like, uh, what was that book I read last year by what, Nathan? No, his, it was like, his last name was Dathan, I think, where he was a grown man but was telling a story about a weird occurrence that happened to him in his childhood um and I was expecting this to be like that because it's also a grown man telling a story about his childhood uh but it hasn't it hasn't packed the punch I was expecting um and I'm very close to DNFing it um and the only thing keeping me hanging on is that it's short. It's 211 pages, but I don't know, man. I'm very close to DNFing it. Uh, and then the other thing I am reading is 2120. This is a, uh, like, choose your own adventure, escape the room graphic novel. Um, 
I've been having fun with it, but like it's not <laughs> like an enjoyable reading experience because it's not a reading experience. It's like a an escape the room game in book form. Um, so while it's fine, I don't think I don't know how I'm gonna rate it or like what there is to say about it because there's not necessarily a story. Um, so anyways, I will talk to y'all next week. Goodbye. <laughs>